Roots to Wellbeing uses the five ways to well-being to support your mental health. Connect, take notice, keep learning, be active and give. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Berenice. Um, today I'd like to ask the question, what are your thoughts about counselling? And to get you started, I'll give you my own thoughts from when I first thought about counselling. So well, to start off, I will tell you what I thought before I trained to become a counsellor and the experience I had. Here goes. When I was younger, I used to think that counsellors had a magic wand. They must be so clever because if you had any problems, you'd go and see them, tell them your issues and tell you what to do and they'd tell you what to do. And, and then everything would be OK. Magic. Of course, I had not had any experience with counselling or counsellors. This vivid imagination of mine will come from a, came, all came from outside influences like the movies and TV. Then as I got older, I started to ask the questions, again from movies and TV, why does every American have their own counsellor? Are they all suffering with mental illness? Because of course, that would be the only time that you would need to see a counsellor right so as time went past i eventually had to see a counselor myself after waiting months i got my appointment oh boy i remember that feeling i felt so anxious actually i was petrified what will they think about me will they think that i have a mental illness if they do what will happen to me i remember walking into that room shaking like a leaf sat down then the counsellor started asking me questions and she was asking me questions about my family and more questions and more questions and I remember sitting there thinking I came here about me not my family this is a complete waste of time and I remember and I did decide then and there that was it I would never ever go back so that completely shattered and distorted my illusion I had about counselling. No magic wand was in that room with me that day. I felt that the counsellor was not even interested in me or what I was feeling. So that was it. That was the end of counselling for me. But years and years went by and like the rest of us, you just carry on and cope with everyday situations that you come across. And then one day I sat there and I started thinking about counselling again. I don't know what sparked that interest in me. But I thought I wanted to research it a little bit more. Maybe my experience wasn't the best, but I hear so many good things about it. I, I need to understand it a little bit more. So in my late 40s, I embarked on a four and a half year training course to become a counsellor. And oh boy, what a journey that was. As I said earlier, my impressions about counselling and counsellors was completely wrong. I discovered that there are many different methods within counselling that are used to help others. I found out that you do not have to have a mental illness to see a counsellor. I personally trained as a person-centred counsellor, which is a humanistic approach and a talking therapy. I believe that we all have the ability to understand who we are and what we want. The problem is, as we grow up within school and our own envir family environment and our external environment, we're not really taught to understand how we're feeling. Yes, we understand how it is to be happy or how it is to be angry and you know, the normal everyday feelings, but we're not taught how to truly understand why we're feeling like that. And in this day and age, I think that the way life is, it can become really overwhelming, confusing, which makes us feel anxious about everyday life events. Counselling can help with a lot of things. It can help us with depression, anxiety, addictions, eating disorders, 
health conditions, bereavement, relationships. But I really truly believe that counselling can also help with our everyday life. You know, with our work and our family and our friends and our financial situations. You see, if you can express how you are feeling verbally, I feel that it helps you understand your feelings to help you clear your doubts and conflicts and the experiences you've had in life and help you develop a degree of self-awareness and understanding of not only yourself, but of others. All this helps you gain more insight into your life and hopefully to become more satisfied with your life. Counsellors do not have a magic wand, but you do inside of you. Mental health and life issues I still feel is a really taboo subject and people are still really anxious about admitting that they are seeing a counsellor, even with the fact that there are more celebrities and royalties, you know, talking about their own personal experience of mental health and their own issues in their life and how they're dealing with it. Having someone to talk to who is actually listening to you who is not judging you or giving you their own opinion, is invaluable. Yes, we all have family and friends that we can talk to, and no matter how much you love and trust them, sometimes it's difficult to be open and honest. But to a complete stranger who can help you feel less alone with your feelings... Is so important. I feel that the first session with a counsellor is very important. A counsellor should explain to you the whole process, including confidentiality and its exceptions. For you to feel comfortable with a counsellor, you need to trust them. It's important to remember that you have a choice. If you do not feel that you could build a relationship with your counsellor, then you have the choice to ask to see another one. Or if you go privately, you can choose a different counsellor. Remember what I said, that there's so many different modalities of counselling out there. You may see a counsellor and their modality really doesn't suit you and really doesn't feel comfortable with you. So remember, you always have a choice. Once you have that counsellor and you feel comfortable with them, I would recommend that you have a minimum of six sessions. This will help you build up the relationship and the trust. And remember, if you're not sure of anything, counsellors are human as well. Just ask. Ask them the question. You know, if you feel as though it's too expensive, but you feel as though that you want to continue with them, talk to them them about it you know you normally can come to a agreeable conclusion that can help you both and lastly but not least just remember that you are a unique human being and we all feel and see things differently there's so much more we could talk about counseling but i just wanted to give you a brief outline of my own perspective regarding my own experiences. I would love to hear from you regarding your own experiences, whether good or bad, and how you perceive what counselling is. Take care of yourself. Bye. If you feel inspired and want to learn ways to support your mental health, please subscribe to our channel. Or you can find us at www.rootstowellbeing.org. And if you would like to get involved in future videos, please contact hello at roots2wellbeing.org. Thank you.